Okay, fight your small rules. Listen to my commands all the time. When I say stop, please stop. Touch goes. Go back to your corners. In the bantamweight division, Eliton Davela from Brazil versus from Finland, Yane Ellen and Komala. Round number one. Camouflage trunks for Davela, black trunks for Ellen and Komala. Both fighters in the southpaw stance. Well, we know Dos Santos is an aggressive fighter. He will come in swinging hard. We said earlier, if Kulmala can withstand the unorthodox swinging striking style of Dos Santos, then he has a good chance of dominating this fight. But Short he, right hand. But if he can't, oh, there's a takedown. Well, he didn't want to stand with him. He went for the takedown. First flurry from Davela. Elena Komala looking to take this fight to the ground. Quick reposition to restart from Lukasz Bosatsky, our referee. Knee to the inside from Elena Komala and another. Bosatsky forcing Davela's head back in the ring ropes. Yeah, Don Santos not happy the fact that he's getting pushed out of the ropes. Obviously, it's just with the head control of Komala. It's not purposely pushed out by Elena Komala, pushed back in from Bosatsky. Another short knee from Ellen and Komala. Goes for the takedown. Didn't quite get it. Breaks free. Yana Ellen and Komala was actually looking, I believe, for the belly-to-belly -belly suplex, trying to get the lift. So tough to hit. This is a very equal and as equal as you can be matchup. Records are similar. Their kind of style is similar in the sense that they've got wins by strike standing, they've got wins by submission, and they've got wins by ground and pound. Kick caught. The difference is Dos Santos is wild when he swings at times. Full butterfly guard now for Yane Ellen and Komala. Yeah, trying to look for the sweep, I think. He's going to kick back. Oh, good left hand. Davila exploding him with his strikes and another on the right hand. Jackhammer right hands now from Ellie Tom Oh, straight down the pipe. Those are thudding shots. Kumala needs to be very wary of what's happening here. He can't lie in his back to take punches like this for long. 225 remaining round number one. More big right hands. Elena Kumala looking for the sweep from the butterfly. Had the elevation, couldn't find the sweep. Yeah, his leg is kind of stuck across the hips. Not going to get much of a sweep because it's on the wrong position or his body is in the wrong position. Tavella was staying forehead to forehead, now raising up. Oh, Big and again. Left hand. The ground and pound is coming through and the way he's dropping his body, he's giving him full force with those punches. Controlling the head now. We spoke about this earlier, controlling the head. is great to set up your ground and pound. Oh, and again with a big right hand. More thudding shots, that left to the body. Elena Komala taking heavy blows on He's the ground. He's turns his back. Dos Santos does not get the hooks in. Regripping now, Eliton Davela Dos Santos. Now to the body lock. Elena Komala back to his feet. Guillotine! Oh, his head comes free. It was good work to get back to his feet. Decided to drop full of guillotine, and he's now in big trouble again, John. It was a tough angle to find it, Machine. Another big right hand for the Brazilian Davela, and another, now the left and the right. These are pounding shots to the rib cage. 50 seconds remaining in the opening round of our co-main event. Well, it's been all Dos Santos. Let's hope he doesn't punch himself out for the second round. The pace hasn't been what you call furious, but it's been hard and heavy. Now looking for a guillotine of his own, Eliton Davela. You see the space under the chin of Yane Ellen and Komala. So a lot of squeeze though from Davela. 
If he takes him down, he's going to go to side control. Nicely done on the throw, and Good then well balance. read by Davela. Good balance. More big shots from Eliton Davela. Relentless with his ground and pound. Hammer fist. That is the end of round number one. Well, Kulmala took punishment there in the first round. Eliton Dos Santos, or Eliton De Vela, as you call him, Sean, because he does go by both names. On the, on the cards here, we have it as Dos Santos. On our sure dog, we have it as De Vela. In round number one, Eliton De Vela Dos Santos. Loading with those big strikes. Catching the kick, taking this fight to the ground. And thudding, ground and pound from Davela. Well, you heard in the pre fight interview that De Santos has flown a long way. He says, I haven't come this far to lose. But sometimes a long flight like that, has he got over the jet lag? He's been here a few days, and it's normally the latter rounds when the jet lag sort of kicks in and you feel tired. But let's see if he is over it. Round number two in Machine, you know some fighters love and they thrive. As he lands a big left hand, as Ellen and Komala fighting, and the mouthpiece comes out. The refereeing by Lukasz Bosatsky. Fighting in front of their home fans, others feel the pressure of expectation. <laughs> Left hand from Elena Komala. Davela still walking forward. You can really hear this Helsinki crowd. Oh! Davela oh! Dos Santos wobbled. Yana Elena Komala. Davela throwing back with the right hand, but he paused when he ate that left hand from Ellen and Komala. One minute gone, round number two. Oh. Another big left hand from Yana Ellen and Komala. <laughs> left hand on the shoulder. Open stance now from Ellen and Komala. When you see the right hand down of Komala, it's a little bit dangerous against the southpaw because the power hand is going to come over that side. Needs to be careful. Ellen and Komala really wearing the damage from Devella's ground and pound on his forehead. No ground and pound in round number two. All stand up thus far. Yeah, De Santos, I think, would be wise to take it down again because. Kamala didn't have much of an answer for that ground of power. The machine, Yane Ellen and Kamala finding his way back into this fight here in round two. And then I go back to that question. Is Dos Santos feeling the jet lag from such a long flight? Because he has slowed down just a touch. Oh, nice uppercut. Uppercut. On Gets the, the ball, takedown. There's the takedown. Elena Komala talked about the double leg we saw now taking the back. Just the one hand down, that no longer makes Tavella ground it. Knees to the head, legal from that position. And that's illegal what Tavella did. He cannot reach his body through the ropes. And it's again the warning from both sides. Yeah, we've already seen the yellow card for this exact same thing. Crowd are whistling, they're booing. They're not happy with Dos Santos. You cannot legally take your body, your head through the ring ropes. Nice knee. Two minutes remaining round number two. A much different second round from the first round, in which Eliton de Vela dos Santos was relentless and extremely effective with his ground and pound. Well, you would think he would try a takedown, Sean, but no attempt whatsoever. When you have such a great success on the ground, why not attempt the takedown? 
Oh, nice left hook. Left hook. Beverly Kamala then pulls this fight back to the center of the ring. Goes for the double. There's the shot. And Devella hits a takedown of his own. Well, we said he needs to be in top position. That's what he's got. And back to the ground and pound. So effective for Eliton Devella in round number one. See the foot on the hip from Ellen and Komala. 60 seconds remaining round two. Quality co-main event thus far in the M1 ring. Again, Bosatsky calls for action. We've had quite a bit of action though in this bantamweight fight. Without a doubt we have. Open Dos guard. Santos definitely slowing down a little though. Open guard now from Ellen and Komala. He could have punched himself out a little bit in the first round as well. Well, piling it on now. Straight right hand. Not, that's a harder shot. Not great defense, though. Komala needs to do more than just cover his head. Elena Komala trying to find the up kick. Couldn't time it. Back into the open guard. Now close guard. Develo looking for one more big strike before the end of round two. He found two strikes. Left to the body. We are going to the third and final round. Well, Dos Santos finished strong. Is it enough to take the second? Without a doubt, he took the first. But the striking ability of Kumala was a little bit better here in the second. Very close to judge this one. Round two is the type of round that you show at judges' seminars for training. First half of the round belong to Yane Ellen and Komala. Very effective striking. Landing big shots. That was the most significant punch of the round, that short left hand that rocked the Bella. Then the second half of the round dictated by that takedown, and then Devella going back to work with his ground and pounds. Well, if I was in the corner of Dos Santos, I would tell him to come out, fake some strikes, make him look as if you're going to punch. Maybe he's even throw through, just to, just to take his mind off the takedown, and then go for the shot, because he's having such great success by putting Kumala on his back. Third and final round of this bantamweight fight. Eliton Devela dos Santos versus Yane Ellen and Komala. Ready. Ready. Quick touch of gloves. Back to work for both fighters, center of the ring. Again, that left hand down the pipe, but just missing the mark. Kumala looking for a knockout now. See that huge abrasion on the forehead of Ellen and Komala. Nice counter, left hand there by Komala. That abrasion showed itself round number one from the heavy ground and pound from Eliton Davela. Again, that shot. A shot on the double Stop. leg, then the knee after the sprawl. The takedown defense, though, from the Finn, Yane, Ellen, and Komala. It was a super fast sprawl. Finland machine, not a traditional wrestling country in terms of freestyle and Greco-Roman. It's turned into a great grappling country. Without a doubt, you've seen that most of the Finnish guys on this card have done really well on the ground. Striking ability is really good also, but definitely credit for the grappling. Submission grappling, catch wrestling. Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu absolutely flourishing in Finland, as of course is mixed martial arts. Working the body now. Right hand to the body from Davela. 320 remaining third and final round. Snap right hand from Ellen and Komala, nothing there. The pace is definitely slowed down here. Oh, shoots the double. And as I say, the pace is slowed down. Davela goes in hard for the takedown. Got his hands clasped together, that's a takedown. Controlling the hips and the legs and hitting the takedown, that was nicely done. 
Kamala could be in trouble here. Whatever energy he has, he must muster it back up and get back to his feet. There's the underhooks. He may be trying to work out the side. Face wash there from Ellie from Devel oh, Santos. Great work, beautiful. The pants come down as he does it. Referee stops the fight. Allows him to pull the pants back up. Great escape from Ellen and Komala. Oh, nice Short left, left hand. To 20 remaining in this fight. Keller 1 2 from Davela. A kick over the top. Keller body kick just missed the mark. You see Elena Komala circling for a better angle, the lateral movement, trying to step in, loading up that left hand from the southpaw stance. Yeah, Komala is definitely trying to look for a finish. Oh, we got tagged there. Getting Again. the level change. Develo looking for the takedown. Good, good defense. Well, and now looking for the ankle pick with his left hand. Yeah, Dos Santos needs to pull that leg out. Is he going to go for it? 80 seconds remaining in this fight. He could switch to the back leg. He does. He goes for the high crotch. Leaves that alone. Drops back down for the double. Develo almost in a fireman's carry position. I don't think he's going to be audacious enough to try that. You see the shoulders under. Although Dos Santos isn't really in a great position for the takedown right now because of the way the head is bent over like that, he is still controlling the fight. So he may be happy to stay here. The referee tells him to hurry up. Komala looks at him as if to say, come on, break it. And he does. Separation from Bosatsky and the quick restart. Fireworks are about to explode now. The Helsinki crowd, the most animated they have been all night for M1 Challenge 82. Firmly behind their home nation fighter, Yane Ellen and Komala. Oh! Big right hand. Both guys looking for the knockout. Oh, and a big right hand. Tavella swinging big, and he landed a big right hand in the previous sequence. Big left hand from Ellen and Komala. Counter right from Tavella. Oh, goes for the single. single. And that is the end of our co-made event. Quality Do over 15 Dos minutes. Dos Santos climbs the ropes. He thinks he's done enough. Pumala puts his hand up to his home crowd. What a show of respect. What a fight. We shall see. Both fighters sitting on 15 pro MMA wins. Ellie Tone Devel entering at 15 and 6. Yane Ellen and Komala entering at 15 and 5. Ellie Tone Devela dos Santos definitely reacting as though he has won this fight. Three judges scoring ringside, assigned by M1. One from the Netherlands, two from Finland, scoring this fight. Let's end all suspense now with Ian the Machine Freeman. Well, ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecard. And the judges have declared this fight a split draw. A split draw. So one judge having it for Davella, one judge having it for Ellen and Komala, one judge having it even. A split draw.
And both fighters exiting the ring as though they have lost this bout. Both felt they definitely did enough to get the victory. A very entertaining and high-level co-main event in the bantamweight division. Eliton de Dos Santos started his fight with big swings. Hit the takedown and then went to work with really effective in punishing ground and pound in round number one. Round number two, a very, very close round. There was the gorgeous throw from Ellen and Komala. And then Devella able to recover. You see the mouthpiece being knocked out early stages of round number two. Devella getting his mouthpiece back in and going to work with that right hand. First half of round number two clearly belonged to Yanni Ellen and Komala. Second half of the round, Eliton Devella going to work and taking control. The takedown off of the double leg, and then the ground and pound. Round number three, a more measured pace, but both fighters with strong bursts of offense. And again, one judge having it for Devella, one having it for Ellen and Komala, and one having it even. After three rounds and 15 minutes, Eliton Devella dos Santos and Yanni, Ellen and Komala fight to a split draw.